so I get to go first. It's always really hard to go first, but it's a little bit easier to go first when you're the mayor. <laughs> So I've written poetry for almost my whole life, uh, before that I, you know, just as soon as I could put two words together on a page, uh, it turned into poetry. So I'm going to share two poems tonight because Jeremy asked me to. I don't have them memorized because I've got other things to do these days. Um, but uh, both of them come from my experience sitting at the council table. So if that's true, anything can be turned into poetry. <laughs> Uh, and this first one, it's called Public Hearing Rezoning Application Number 00371 <laughs> for property known as 1805 Fairfield Road. And when people want to rezone a piece of property to build something else or something new there, they have to come and make their pitch in front of council. And usually it goes pretty well, but sometimes it's sad to say that in our chambers we hear discrimination. And in this particular hearing, there was a lot of discrimination from members of the public who spoke uh, wanting an old, decrepit house to be torn down and something new built. And the discrimination was against renters. How many of you rent? Yeah. Yes, exactly. 70% of our population rents. So here we go. Public hearing, rezoning application number 00371. Things changed dramatically when Mrs. Fisher moved out and turned her house over to be rented. Her broccoli went to seed that fall, but that was just the beginning. A mix of folk and heavy metal replaced the Bach partitas that she leave on at full volume as she walked proudly down the lane, leaning on the late Mr. Fisher's cane. Her move out began the day the squad car pulled up. Springtime trees pom-pom thick with cherry blossoms, we later learned that Mrs. Fisher had been found rolling beneath a tree in Beacon Hill Park, crumpled skirt and blossoms in her gray hair curled as the officer helped her from his squad car to her door. Now Joni Mitchell and Emmy Lou Harris by day, the young woman we think she is a painter, small canvases tossed angrily out the back door and the yard is littered. In the evening, he arrives. I am dry license plate, says he's had some struggles and come out the other side. Hard rock replaces hard alcohol as Iron Maiden and Metallica form an uneasy alliance with the music from here earlier in the day. Since Mrs. Fisher moved, there has been a string of renters moving their messy lives on and then off again our private, our peaceful street. We urge council to support this rezoning. We happen to prefer Bach, even at full volume, on an otherwise peaceful, quiet afternoon. Thank you.